Hi, Mark Dodd here. Um, I'm going to go over how to make your old Aperture um, photo libraries available to the new Luminaire with libraries. Um, if you've got the original uh, configuration of Aperture and you haven't changed it, you're going to have a Aperture library uh, most probably in your pictures folder like here. I've got this demo library up here that can um, when you open that up inside of Aperture that has all your pictures. So like right now if we haven't done anything and I go to Luminaire and try to import um, those images and choose add folder you'll notice that it won't let me choose this Apple Aperture demo library because it's not actually a true Mac OS folder it's actually a container that's uh, special to Aperture. But to sh show you where your folder, um, not your folder, where your pictures actually are now, you can right click on the Aperture library, go down to choose show package contents, and then you'll go down and locate a folder called masters. And inside of masters it has the uh, folder structure of year, um, month, day. So. I've only imported one day of worth of photos for this demo, so I've got one folder for 2018, one for December, one for December 26th, and then it's got another subfolder under net. And these are all the images that I imported into my Aperture demo library. So we'll actually go over to Aperture now just to show you that we're looking at the same thing. So this is the first photo that's in, in Aperture. So I'll come over here and this is that same image. Um, it's actually so ev everything's stored inside that Aperture um, library file. So we want to actually get these out of this Aperture demo library um, uh, container and put it into a regular folder so that Luminaire can get to it but we still want Aperture to be able to access them. So what we're going to do now is go back to Aperture, click on the photo section over here if you want to do all of them at once. So click that so you're showing just your photos and then you can go up to edit and choose select all. That will select all your photos inside of this particular Aperture library. Next step is to go up to the file menu and we're going to go down to relocate originals. This is the actual step that will take them out of the Aperture container folder and put them into a regular Mac OS folder. Um, I've already got my where I'm going to export them selected here, but you can create any folder anywhere on your hard drive or an external drive. Wherever you want to put them, it, it's up to you. Um, what I've done in this case is I've created a folder called Aperture Photo. And I created two subfolders inside of that, one called Aperture Master and one called Aperture Version. Um, my reasoning behind that, and you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to, is I want to export all my masters, which is the step we are doing now by relocating them from the Aperture Demo Library container file into a folder and keeping them separate from when I go ahead and export a version of an image later on. That way when I go into Luminaire, I actually will have two um, different folders that I can access. So I know one's the original untouched master and one's a version. So for now I'm choosing my Aperture Photo folder, my Aperture Masters uh, folder and choosing Relocate Originals. Uh, well, actually one thing I need to show you down here, you got the subfolder format by default. It creates a subfolder of image year, month and day similar to what you just saw inside of the container folder. Um, you can create another subfolder under that if you wanted to. Um, normally I, I would, wouldn't re recommend that. I'd just keep it the default here and keep it with the original file name so you can match it up later. And down here it gives you an example of what that would look like. So that's my year, month, day, and the file name. So we'll go ahead and choose relocate originals at this point. And since I'm running this on the same machine I'm recording on, this may take a little moment or two. We'll just let this finish. One thing I want you to see now is, if you didn't notice it before, 
we did not have this little icon down here in the bottom right. What that icon tells you when you're inside of Aperture is that photo is no longer inside the Aperture um, demo library or Aperture library. It's now what's called a referenced file. So Aperture still knows about it, but it's pointing to the location of where you stored it on your hard drive. And what you can do now when you see that little symbol is you can actually choose show and finder and it will go out and actually show you where that uh, particular picture was stored in your finder. So like if we go back to my past structure here, I've got pictures. That's the aperture photo folder I created. Here's my aperture master photo uh, folder I created. And here's that structure that it's set up with year, month, day and here are all my photos that are inside of my aperture library that you still see here i can still access these i can still edit them create versions and such um, but well actually let's go ahead and we'll edit this one make some adjustments to it we'll create a version let's see let's see what happens i actually haven't done this part yet so We'll duplicate version. Since I haven't edited anything yet, there is no version yet. It still points it as a referenced file, so we should see a another version show up out here, maybe. No, it doesn't. All right, so this is where the versions, even though it's it says it's a referenced file. It's still pointing to the original master, unmodified, but we've got a version of it here. So let me make sure let's just change something up here. We'll make it a little warmer, a little brighter. Change the black point a bit. I'm just trying to make it pretty obvious that this one is one that we've edited. So. We'll come back to the library here in a moment. And let's see what else we want to do to this. We'll just we'll make this one black and white, so it's definitely different. So we'll come back to our library, show all of our photos. So now we've got the original and a version that I've edited. And again, even though it says show and finder, it's still pointing to the unmodified master it's not going to have the version this is where my other folder comes in so, so this is obviously a version of the of the image say i wanted to go ahead and make this accessible to luminaire and libraries um, so i can continue to edit make more edits to it using luminaire but we um, since this is a version and not the original we can't use the option of relocate originals what we'll have to do this time is actually export a version of that image. So this is my modified one. So I will click, right click on it, choose export and choose export version. That will export a copy of the image that has all of your changes. And we'll go back to my pictures folder, aperture photo. And I, this is where I'm putting it in that version folder. You can choose whatever, um, uh, file format that you want. Uh, personally, I like PNG because it's a, um, a little sharper than JPEG. But you, you can choose whatever one you want. But make sure that you choose your setting here. I wouldn't do any. Um, you can do the sub. Actually, let's do the subfolder name just to keep it consistent. We'll choose image year, month, day. We'll keep the version um, name the same as it is in Aperture, and we'll go ahead and export the version. So now, if I hide Aperture, I can go to my versions folder, see the year, month, day, and here's my edited version of that file with all my Aperture um, edits in it. So okay, now we've got those folder uh, files, photos out of Aperture and into macOS folders that we can now add them 
to Luminaire. So go ahead and open up Luminaire. You may already have um, catalog images in here. That's fine. That's not a problem. I've just created a, a blank demo library. So I'm starting from scratch. So you want, what you're going to do is come up here and choose add folder. You could choose um, add aperture folder if you wanted to, and it will add a aperture photo folder over here with the two subfolders in it. Um, actually, let's just try that. Let's just see, because it's a little different than what I was thinking of doing. So we'll choose add folder. This may take a little time um, because uh, I'm running the recording software on this rather older iMac. So I'll let it do its thing and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. It's finished importing the photos into app, uh, into Luminaire. And so we've got our folder that we selected over here that we chose to add. If we right click the, uh, or click the triangle, it will show the two subfolders in it. The one that has my version um, file in it. So if I come down here and just choose the particular day it shows just that version file or I can come back up here and choose my masters that I know have not been edited and these are all my master images so now we've got our pictures master images available in Luminaire and this will be my versions that I exported and are now available in Luminaire with libraries. But just to show you that we can still go back to Aperture here, choose our photos, and you can still choose all of the photos that you have access. You still have access to all of them inside of uh, Aperture, but you now also have access to those same images inside of Luminaire because they are now all stored in a Mac OS folder structure instead of a Aperture li uh, library container file. So hopefully that uh, answers your questions. Uh, but uh, if you got some questions on this, um, just leave me a comment below the video and I will try and answer them for you. But thank you very much for watching. Bye.